All right, episode 14, we're about to go see some diamonds. 10 karat diamond, iced out gold Rolex, million dollar lollipop, but before that, we're gonna hit a secret spot with special guest, Chef Antonio, <laughs> dumplings, baby! Hey, man! You ready to see some diamonds? <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Dumplings and diamonds. Before we get ordering, I want to introduce you to the world to my boy Ethan right here and my special guest, our, our special guest star, uh, Antonio, for bringing us to the most amazing Taiwanese restaurant in Vegas, underground spot, you have to come here. He's going to order us the underground things. Let's go. <laughs> so I got seven items. Cool. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah that's good. What are you drinking? <laughs> uh, You're not at a Russian restaurant. <laughs> There's traffic. Oh, no! This <laughs> fucking bomb! But I love it. delicious? Yeah, try it. It's like, it tastes like the uh, the liquor we had last time. Uh, let's get a close up. Uh, so I want that one now. Right? Like, wow! Like that's good. <laughs> Try this, Mike. <laughs> so that's winter. Holy yeah, moly! Winter, yeah. Ooh, Have you had damn. this before? Yeah. That's very good. Wow! You didn't no, wait. No, there's no vodka in that. No. Oh, heavens! Heaven no. have mercy! Heaven no. have mercy! It's very caramel. Huh? It's like a very, uh, it is caramel. It's like a very sweet tea. Oh, my my phone, phone. My no, but that's just what I Holy like. It's like shit, that is off the hook. I'm gonna get that for my girl to bring home. <laughs> I'm very excited for this for this meal. Well, that's really good. Sorry. You tried this? <laughs> it's, yeah. oh, it's like caramel. It's got all the fruit in it. What is this? Super fruit? Super fruit uh, green tea. All right, well, straight. We don't want vodka. Let me try it. It's killer. That's like tropical. Whoa! Everyone's better than the next! It's delicious! <laughs> Speaking of frozen. Make a, I, make a frozen we margarita even, out of this one. We haven't even got the food yet. I'm telling you right now, based on the that drinks, you have sweet. to come check out this restaurant. Alright, so we're gonna start off with uh, some Shaolong Bao uh, pork buns, some Oa Jian oyster pancakes, Ooh. stinky tofu. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go a little stinky bit. Tofu. We're gonna go a little bit different here. Oh, I thought uh, it said spicy stinky tofu. Tofu, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> and then uh, some uh, hot and spicy wontons. Oh, you know, also. And then some beef rolls. And nice. then we'll take it from there. Yes, oh. sir. <laughs> okay. okay. Hi, this is Chris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not yet. Hang on, I'm, I'm out of town. I'm not gonna be back until next week. He's out of town. All right. Thank you. I'm out of town also, on a permanent basis. <laughs> out of town, out of mind. All right, so today we're here with uh, our buddy, Antonio. You'll recognize him from the hot spots, <laughs> Bloom, and the stove. So being a local restaurateur, he's definitely privy to all the kind of local underground hotspots. So we really wanted to get him out today and kind of take us to one of his favorite spots, again, off the beaten path. So we are at E-Main Champion, located on Rainbow. Rainbow just uh, south of the 215. Now I need to fill my drink up. <laughs> 
I got vodka in the car, I'll be right back. <laughs> we'll see which one it goes better with. I think we said this one goes better with vodka. No, I got, I got my own mixers. I got a, I travel with my shit. He's got a mobile bar. Does he? <laughs> We also heard that you're kind of a big deal over there. Kind of famous. Kind yeah, of no, famous. no, no, no. <laughs> I've been, I've been a musician for 40 years. I was going to say, that is not the hair of someone who's not famous. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. You can tell as soon as you see him, you know he's famous. It smells fucking phenomenal. Very good. Oh. What do we got? Looks, Looks like, like a hook. Hook. <laughs> So what this is, it's uh, xian shu qi, uh, popcorn chicken. <laughs> one is uh, just a regular flavored and one is uh, more spicy. How do you say it? Xian shu qi. Xian shu qi? Good. Hey. There it is. Spicy chicken or popcorn chicken. Nice. Um, <laughs> what do you think? Off the hook? I was waiting for something else to try. I thought, maybe, fire. I thought it was going to be like super spicy. No. No. It was awesome. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's worth coming here just for that. I only took one bite. Um, we should get like a. They have a spicy sauce. Something crazy spicy. Like what? Please, yeah. You never learned your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I love spicy. I'm a spicy man. You like spicy? That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Wow. The right? Flavor, the flavor on it is fucking perfect. And I like salt, anyways. So. It's got a good salt, saltinity to it. The heat's not bad. It's almost good. It's got that um, uh, chili garlic that they put over yeah. the top. So it's like crunchy garlic and chili flakes uh, with the oil. You put it over the top. It's great. Steamed juicy brown. Oh! Something cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh! 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 I love this guy. <coughs> I love him too. Thank you. Yours. Perfect. So this is uh, Shaolong Bao. Oh, or or Bao. XLB. Or pork bun. Steamed pork bun. Alright. They got a little juice in them, huh? Yeah. Watch the squirt. Watch the squirt. Suckers getting away from me. I can't <laughs> get them. The yeah, you don't want to melt your face off. Watch the squirt. These are the best. I already love this place. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you can't go wrong. If loving this place is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <evil. That's laughs> nice ginger. Did, did it? Was it full of juice? Did it? Did it go just crazy in your? Okay. Spot it slowly. Just put it in your mouth. Just put it in your <laughs> mouth and let it squirt, Rich. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. Hey, delicious! Oh man! You can't go wrong. <laughs> you can always tell when food's good because everyone shuts the hell up. <laughs> They're just like this the whole time. You're gonna say the f word. I, know, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> so here, this is what I'm telling you. How? Uh, is it how oh you? How, yes. Oh, this is the spicy. Ooh, I like that. This one. That's like Olive. Yeah, it's a Thai, Thailand style. Yeah. yeah. Mike, try this. Uh, you yeah, try the hot one? Oh my god. Mike, try this. Try this, Mike. No. Try it. No. Try it. Trust you. Mikey, try it. Try it. Hell no! <laughs> try it, Mike. Try it. Oh. Just eat it, dude. I don't think I should. Just do it. No, that's spicy. I'll do it with you. Yeah, that doesn't. I want Chris to do it with me. <laughs> I did him. You did? No, that's fine. There we go. Ready? Uh, Cheers. Oh, God. Hello. Cheers. Huh? <laughs> Lush. Uh, Thank you. <clears throat> that was delicious. Too, too spicy for you? Me? That's too hot. But it's in my nose. <clears throat> I only like trick things in my nose. <laughs> it ain't chili. <laughs> and then what are these? Same? I, I just told him you guys liked it, so he just threw it too. This uh, this uh, chili paste, uh, spicy sauce, off the charts, off the Richter scale. You definitely have to get this when you come here. Don't leave here without eating this. 
try that song. That's that uh, stinking tofu. Oh, the stinking, stinking tofu. tofu. What makes it stinky? You smell. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> the stinkier it is, the better it tastes. Oh no, I thought he was saying he smells. Oh. <laughs> I guess people say that all the time. What makes it stinky? You smell. <laughs> he was like, yeah, that's not my food. So this is a uh, fried stinky tofu. Boom. How do you say it? Stinky. Uh, to tofu. To tofu. To tofu. To to I get that to stinky in there. Stinky Wait, to is it to because that means stinky? To. 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 Okay. to means bean. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So tofu, right? It looks good. It looks really good. Try it. The stinkier it is, the better. Yeah, I will try it. And dip it in the hot sauce. In this one? Yeah. Are you going to eat anything? I'm trying to sort it out the back. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Gotta make the people work. Understood, understood, understood. And with that, it's like a cabbage? Yeah. Pickle spicy. cabbage? Pickle cabbage. Ooh, I love that. An extra thing that you need to understand is this guy is dressed just like I am in a jumpsuit, but he has a $40,000 watch on. <laughs> this is my style, okay? He's got a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt on with, look, like, check out his watch too. We got the watch game. Oh Chris, man, I don't even, well, I got the antique residential, uh, president, I got the antique presidential Rolex, uh, mm. but this is a luxury item that, uh, you know, I bought a long time ago when I was a kid, so. <laughs> oh boy. What do we got? Stinky, huh? It's a little hundun. Right? You know, the hundun. Like you get like that, this is that fruity, awesome. like oh, this sea urchin flavor in the back of your throat. Woo! So this is uh, only old tall so spicy wontons. This has to be a loved item. Like, you're, you're either filled. It's like durian. You yeah. either hate it or you yeah. love it. It's well, one or the other. But the cabbage is great. I mean, the, for me, like I was saying, it has like that almost like there's like an urchin flavor to it because of that. The way that it's either fermented or I don't know how they make it stinky, but it's you really have to like that. You have to learn to like it. Oh, I like oh, it a lot, actually. Yeah, it's good. I think it's delicious. So I don't know easy. what about it, it. I don't know what it is about you, but I trust everything from you. I'm going to eat anything you bring me. Oh, right. I just I, get this I, I think that I just love camera? you. Yeah, I'll right. take this <laughs> one. How are you doing? Hi. What are you guys doing? Uh, eating lunch. With cameras? Yeah. <laughs> you want to you want to jump in here and be a guest star? Yeah, this I'll is how we in. count our calories. Oh, wonderful! I'm a master. Are you over eighteen? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Are you over eighteen? No, I'm seventeen. Perfect. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like stinky tofu? <laughs> yes. You want to buy it? Sure. Let me try. See what you think. Can I use my hands? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Is this a prank? Is this gonna like blow up my face or no. something? <laughs> no, get a dumpling. Get one of these. These are delicious. I will sure do it. Okay, so hold on. I'm you gotta come enough. over here. Yeah, I will. Thank you very much. Guest star. Okay, so I'm actually on a show. Okay, so we got a special guest star on? right here. It's called Baskets on FX Networks with Zach Galifianakis. I play his daughter. Oh really? Oh <laughs> wow! We got a we got an official superstar in the house. Baskets with Zach Galifianakis. Uh, what what is? It? That's the guy from The Hangover. Yeah, you're right. He... Oh wow! Oh, Hello. Hello. Okay, so give us your name and give us your thoughts on the chicken and the dumplings. Okay, my name is Julia Rose Gruenberg, and the tofu is super good. I haven't tried. Say the one dumplings. more time. The the what's the, the name? Tofu. Oh, my name. Yeah. My name's Tofu, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Tofu as a special guest star. <laughs> My name is Julia Rose Grunberg. And let me try the dumplings. Have you eaten here before? I have not. I work right, or I go down, visit my friend right at the Star Maker Studio. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you guys have kids, check it out. <laughs> what is it? This is Star Maker right here. Star Maker Studio. Mmm, this one. Fire. Off the hook, right? right? Do you like spicy? I do. I, I went right in there with mine. Okay. Go ahead, you go first. Okay. Ladies first. Thank you very much. Then you should go for next. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gorgeous, but I'm not a lady. <laughs> I feel the glamour though. <laughs> hey, girl. Who knew where I get free lunch coming here? Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever hear the expression, no such thing as a free lunch? 
the free lunch? No, no. Such a, oh, <laughs> she was raised in Vegas. In There's always a free lunch in Vegas on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the comps. <laughs> the comps. We get tons. Now Antonio is the owner of the best brunch spot in the entire state of Las Vegas called the Stove. And the Anderson, Stove? Have you yeah. been there? Mm -mm. Well, you're too young to go there. In fact, I'm, oh, I would be mad if you did no, go there. It's a, <laughs> it's a champagne party spot. Basically, a lot of drinking. So he takes it back. Don't go there. Yeah, we're going to edit that part out. Next, next year. <laughs> next year, you'll see me there. And then I'll get it. No, not next year. You have to be 21. 21? <laughs> yes. Two, three years. Maybe. Two, three years. <laughs> how long has that uh, how long still come in? It's been on for four seasons, so four years. How did you, did you audition here for it? I actually used to street perform on the strip for Las Vegas. Uh -huh. Yeah, I street performed for two years and then um, they kind of just saw me out there and asked me to audition. So what are you doing, dancing? Here at the studio? No, or on, on the strip. On the strip. No, I was doing stand-up. Really? And, and wow. Yeah, check oh, me out on see, she's got a mouth on that's why. Uh, <laughs> she's out here, I, <laughs> I love this is like my new little sister. Yeah. Right? I'm adopting her. I don't mean to brag, but I did a little acting back in the day. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Anybody with blue eyes kinda goes into it at least once, right? <laughs> wow, she is quick! 17 year old are you really 17? I'm really 17. She is quick witted, huh? <laughs> I do uh, I should do uh commercials, TV commercials. Oh really? That's Let me so get a piece cool. of that. Which one? Um, Jake Vaughn, <laughs> Herpes, uh, Panasonic, <laughs> Muscle. So do the job. He doesn't do any stuff. <laughs> no. What do you do? What happens in Vegas goes home to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm retired now. You look so young to be retired. I'm 17. I'm 17? <laughs> well, then you're a little ahead of me. That's a Vegas lifestyle right there. That's what a true 17 year old looks at it. <laughs> this is what I look like at 17. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, well, I got to get to work. But All right. I love you. You're the best. We'll, we'll take Stay out of trouble. Too. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> Bye. I haven't even tried this yet. Have you? Tried yeah. Fire. This is a spicy. Fire like spicy. Spicy dumplings? Spicy dumplings. You look great. Now what the hell am I eating here? <laughs> the spicy was honestly. The quite honestly is probably the best thing I've had. That spicy is good. Water. Yeah. That is off the charts. It's a little bit different than yeah. other places. Well Lanny Lanny's is like he does the fermented bean and stuff inside of it. So yeah, it's his, a little bit uh, different. Yeah, his sauce. He's saucy. Yeah. Well this is more soupy. It's different different take on it. I haven't had one thing that was bad. Everything is delicious. Mm -hmm. And there's more coming. <laughs> oh my, these are off the rails. I don't even, this from outer space alien food. There, there these spicy wontons are insane. Oh, oh, oh. That's how you know, this is right here is how you know aliens exist. No human being can make something this delicious. Why my mom made me. <laughs> So this Friday is the first day of the Lunar New Year. What that means, it's kind of a different calendar. And on Friday, it starts the Lunar New Year, the New Year of Ox. So it's perfect to have some Chinese food in preparation for the New Year. You know what's fun is that we're in a weird time in the world with COVID and, and all this crazy stuff. But it's awesome that, you know, four or five guys could still say, oh, hey, this is my girlfriend right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome that, what? get over. I just wanted to know what's your, I didn't even get your Oh, or so the show is Super Vegas Life. Super Vegas Life. Okay. Because yeah. I have to check it out now. Yeah. I, I, I'll give you my I'll, I'll give you my Instagram and then you okay. can uh, click on the link. Or when I turn 21. No, no. Nah. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Somebody's moving fast. Somebody's moving fast. Uh, I'll, I'll type in my Instagram. Okay. It's called yeah, Super like, Vegas Life, right? Yeah, Super Vegas Life. Cool. So what? So what? What? What is like? You guys review restaurants? Or just so different videos? we, I'm born and raised in Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Same. from New York. He's born and raised in Vegas. He's from Chicago, and we're showcasing all of the awesome and stuff in Taiwan. Vegas. Born in he's Taiwan. from Taiwan. Oh, he's gorgeous, also FYI. Uh -huh. And uh, we're showcasing all of the cool stuff in Vegas to promote uh -huh. uh, the Las Vegas lifestyle. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Good so luck. you're gonna be in it on that's this cool. this Friday. The episode will come out. Oh, okay, cool. I'll all check right. It, out. it was nice to meet you guys. I love her. She's yeah. amazing. Right. How could you not love her? Now you have to go watch Baskets. Now I have to watch Baskets. He's a but I hate clowns. Clown. Clowns freak yeah, me he's out. He's a clown. 
okay. circus performer clown. I'm gonna do clown. it just because I love her. In my personal opinion, I like this. I like more reasons to celebrate everything. I celebrate Thursday. I celebrate Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Tuesdays, right now. I, I celebrate New Year's, <laughs> I celebrate Jewish New Year, I celebrate Taiwanese, Chinese New Year. Everything you could celebrate, I want to do. He's got an all-race holiday calendar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should see my calendars, full of celebrations. <laughs> oh! Oyster pancake? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Wow. That's what they call a lot, Chad. Oyster omelet. So again, this is kind of what Oyster I Oyster omelet. Like everyone, they all have a different version. Like every Asian culture has a different version of this. Korea does one that's uh, more pancake style, but has seafood in it. It's really fire. And this, this and like egg bouillon are like really oh, some of my favorite things to eat. Me too. Yeah, I love it. Ooh, let me get you some more. Yeah. So are there oysters in the omelet? Yeah. Wow. Did you one right there? No one wow. right there. Ooh, this is all on you. Crazy. Oh, that's right. You don't eat seafood. No, I love seafood, but I, oysters are not really way. my thing. But it looks good. It smells delicious. Here, here, here's what it tastes like without the oyster. Are you okay, okay with the oysters, though? No, I, I, I. Are you gonna get allergic to them? No, no, no. I'm not allergic. I just don't usually eat them. I like clams and mussels, but oysters never been my try thing. Try that. There's no oyster in that bite. Okay, uh, I will try it for sure. Mm. Oh wow! So this is the spicy beef and tendon noodles. We are not even playing. This lunch is ridiculously delicious. The guy that does our beef up north on the private ranch, he came down, so we did an entire beef um, seven course dinner. We paired it with like beers wow. and wines and stuff. So the dessert had to be beef. Wait, the dessert had to be beef? It had to be had, had beef incorporated into it. Yeah, it was wow. really cool. So we did. It's we like cooked. Iron Chef. Yeah, but we actually cooked. Throwing <laughs> 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 shade. <laughs> we actually cook. He, you could tell he's a movie star because he smokes cigarettes very elegantly. Come over here just for a second. Show, show the like camera that? how you smoke the cigarettes. <laughs> he's just going like this, not in puffing away. Yeah. What's that? There's not a lot of places oh. that have that. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio, as a chef, give us the flavor profile. As a, as a special chef guest star, mm -hmm. what are you feeling in your emotion in your emotional breakdown? So, the flavor profile, I like the texture. It's a little bit softer, but the flavor profile, like the onions and the leeks and stuff that are in here, it, it all comes through. And it's that's hard to do when you. A lot of chefs go out and they'll put eight thousand ingredients in one thing. And you don't know what the hell's in there. So when you get something like this, you, you get the different layers in it, and it's nice. I haven't tried this sauce yet. Layers, Mikey. Layers. Layers, Mike. Layers. It's all about the layers. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it's, it's unbelievable. Oh my gosh. This is what chicken roll, right? Yeah, chicken roll. It's uh, uh, skin is tofu skin. Wrap. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, wrap. Tofu wrap. Tofu wrap. Tofu wrap. What do we got here? Oh, okay. That's a nigga salad. Well, that's what I thought it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> swing, uh, pot shrimp pot stickers. Boom! There we go. How? So, I, I'm glad you guys are here because I'm so full. I'm gonna have one just to try it because everything is so good. After this, we've got one more dessert coming in. Okay. That's Shaolin, baby. So you know, wait, Shaolin? Shaolin. Like the Wu Tang. Not Wu Tang. I knew it. I knew that's where we were going. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Get up here. Up high. Cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. This full. You can try it with this sauce. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> so was no one gonna finish that? Come on. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> the M E T H O D man. M E T H O D man. Off the hook. I come from the crime side, the New York Times side. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Take it easy, gangster. <laughs> Boom, so that was uh, YMA Champion Deli. I've probably driven by that place a hundred times and never even knew it was there. Um, legit Taiwanese food. Not Thai, Taiwanese, which is a whole different animal. Um, definitely I love the, I mean their big thing is their dumplings, their noodle dishes, because like he told us, everything is handmade, mm -hmm. everything is done in house. So that's really the kind of specialty items you can get there. We had the spicy beef dumplings. The uh, the tofu was great. 
Again, what was that called house. again? Stinky tofu. Oh, d I thought it was delicious. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. The, the the pairing with the um, the brined cabbage really kind of puts it all together. Um, great dishes. Mike obviously ate all the fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, so. he did. What was that thing that we got at the end with like the chicken roll? Oh yeah, yeah. So he it was wrapped in tofu skin, fried. Uh, ground chicken and vegetables, and then the two awesome, the plum sauce, and then they did like a spicy uh, soy. So really great. I mean, and then now for dessert, they had the uh, the red bean pancakes. Oh, Off the charts. Off so the bomb. charts. So bomb. But now, being that Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Time to go see some diamonds. What? <laughs> uh, you might need to get, if you need to get your husband or your boyfriend or your brother something, we're going to show you some watches. If you need to get your girlfriend, your sister, your wife something, you're going to see some diamonds. You're going to see pink diamonds, yellow diamonds, iced out watches. Everything's going to be insane. So let's go check it out. <laughs> You ready to see some diamonds? Let's do it. We're here with Ben, Ben Diamonds, AKA Ben the Jeweler, AKA Ben, Jeweler to the Stars, AKA Ben Cohen. <laughs> you, got a lot of, you got a lot of nicknames. That's a very long monogram. Show, show us some diamonds, show us some watches. What do we got here? So what we have here, we have a beautiful 10 carat fancy yellow diamond. <laughs> I hope my girlfriend doesn't see This is a special Valentine's Day episode. That's why I went to come see my man Ben right here. So you're but thinking I hope I <laughs> Valentine's Day, what would make a perfect gift? But I, I hope my girlfriend doesn't see this episode because I'm gonna be in some trouble. I'm gonna have to buy this. We did the uh, very beautiful and special pieces for the ears to Richard. Yeah. <laughs> his uh, beautiful earrings with the jackets. And then we did the- uh, I got about 50 diamonds. <laughs> came one night and just took this <laughs> and then this is a special lion specially made for him with rubies nice and heavy matches his tattoo or the tattoo <laughs> matches this and then this beautiful presidential watch is done with uh, diamonds around it. I have a problem with spending money especially when I'm around him that's why I'm scared to even look at this ring <laughs> tell us about it so this ring it's actually now yellow gold is coming back and it's very, very popular. But here you have a yellow diamond that has been uh, in the past, in the 90s, until the 90s, this only used to be catered to royalty. Um, the consumers didn't know about canary diamonds, about diamonds coming nature, nature uh, providing diamonds in different colors. Uh, we have fancy yellow, we have a, here we're looking at the pink diamond. Pink diamond? We have black diamonds. We actually I think, made you some uh, studs. In yeah. Your brother got you as a gift or yeah. Yeah, uh, for your birthday uh, years ago. We did some black diamonds. I have so many diamonds. I have so many carrots. My friends call me Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> so diamonds come in different colors and you can see how uh, Beautiful is uh, also a watch when uh, it's dressed up all in diamonds. So if you're watching this for Valentine's Day and you want to get your boyfriend, your husband, your brother something nice, this right here is where it needs to be. Now, tell us the, a little bit about this watch because it looks insane. 18 karat uh, yellow gold president Rolex. And this watch is all iced out with diamonds. Here's the thing that now that I have it in my hand, now I want to buy it. <laughs> that is that is ice right there. That's ice ice baby. Remember in Pretty Woman when they walk in and uh, with Julia Roberts and says, "How much money are you gonna spend? A little bit of money or a lot of money?" It's a very obscene amount of money. <laughs> First, we're gonna need a few more people helping us out. I'll tell you why. We're gonna be spending an obscene amount of money in here. Uh, yeah. Exactly how obscene an amount of money were you talking about? Just Profane or really offensive? Really offensive. I like him so much. For people that are watching this who've never seen amazing things like this, what is what is the best type of cut of a diamond? Educate us on the people watching. So as far as a shape, there is no shape that is better than the other. 
it's your personal it's taste. preference preference yeah. uh, when people think of a diamond they think of a round diamond mm -hmm. so that's why round is more popular but diamonds coming in all shape and all type of brilliancy and there was actually an article from a GIA professor that says that some cuts are more brilliant than what they call ideal cuts. Okay. And no ideal cut is what everybody are looking for. Sometimes there are some other cuts that are more brilliant. So I think it's very personal. You have to look at the stone and uh, there are certain measurements or depths that are um, put in place, but basically what you have to look is you have to try the stone on, you have to try the diamond on, see if it talks to you, if it, if it fits you well. Well, I tell you what, the reason why I always come to, I only buy my stuff from Ben because I know that uh, I'm getting quality and I'm getting the best price. But over the years, you know, because he and I have known each other forever, I've seen some pear-shaped diamonds that I thought were gorgeous. I saw like princess cut, cushion cut. Wait, is that what it's called, cushion? Um, obviously the round is gorgeous, but I'm telling you right now, this oval has kind of got my... I, I'm glad my girlfriend's not here with me right now. I might have to leave with the... Oh, this one right here, that that's, awesome. is that the pair? Oh, I mean, it's off the charts. And this is, this is pink? This is pink. This is fancy purple pink. That's definitely something we'll see often. The diamonds are produced in... are found in Russia, in Africa, Brazil. So yeah, they come from different places and then they're being cut in different places around the world. I don't know which one I like better. I mean, I, 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 or pink? I, I'd probably get them both if I had more money. I wish I had more money. <laughs> Years ago, I made you a black diamond. So yes. Under the pink diamonds. Yes, he did make me. I had a ring with a gigantic black diamond surrounded by pink diamonds. That was off the charts. I love that ring. <laughs> Wait, a heart-shaped diamond? Yeah. But what? how the heck did they do that? <laughs> how do they do a heart-shaped diamond? Heart -shaped. We even do Christmas trees. We have a butterfly. You want to show the butterfly? A butterfly-shaped diamond? Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. Wait, how do they make that? It's cut. It's cut and then you do, if it's, um, if it has nicks, uh, how do you call it, like um, cuts that are going inside, it's done with laser. Okay. Oh. You slice it back. Slice it back with the laser. Wow. Wait, like, like, like Goldfinger, like James Bond. You slice it with a laser. Wow. We can cut the diamond like a cake with a laser. <laughs> really? You got horse head. Wow. And a butterfly. I love the butterfly. It's good, huh? That is so cool. And she, because I'm thinking in my head, like, I wonder how many times you had to practice to get that done. Or these people are just the pros of the pros. Oh, come on now. This is a must have right here. That's like. That's pretty badass. Yeah, that's. It's like a superhero. Ooh. Sometimes I like the different stones. I like the emeralds and the rubies and everything. Although I love diamonds. Oh, this is the million dollar lollipop? Yeah. This, is, this is fucking this is, disco. Okay, this is... It's a lollipop holder. It's a lollipop holder. Wow. And so how many carrots are we dealing with here? This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, it's 100 carrots. 100 carrots. 100 carrots of diamonds to hold your lollipop. It's not a joke. He, this, he actually has this. <laughs> Up. The light up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know that you're rich. All right. Problem solved. Well, Ben, I just want to say thank you so much for giving us a tour of some diamonds. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, 
Thank you so much. For I'm gonna give you a big hug and a kiss. <laughs> and uh, I'll it's see you soon. <laughs> awesome, brother. Let's Thanks again. Yes, for sure. Save that. Wa save this watch for me because I think I'm, I you might have. Try it on. Yeah, I might have to come back and upgrade <laughs> to that. Turn that camera off. We're gonna blast some stuff. <laughs> We're about to spend some money up in here. Well, finally, she's quickly becoming a street sensation in the heart of downtown. Julia Rose spends her time entertaining crowds with her witty comments and musical skills when she's not at school, of course. Well, she's only 10 years old, and our very own 8 News Now photojournalist, Justin Michael, caught up with the talented youngster today. I want to make it so bad. I mean, I'm so determined. I want to touch greatness. I want to be mostly an actress. I want to score Stacey, if you know what I mean. Are you ordering? <laughs> Steam juicy pork buns. I already, I already provided that, right? that for you. Are you, are you ordering? <laughs> so she's setting up. We already ordered. I got you. I got you a tall glass of water coming. Duck wings. Uh, I'm not sure if they have it today. I'll, I'll check. I'll check. Yeah, dude, throw something duck in. Duck neck or duck tongue? No, not tongue. That's right. That what about salty duck eggs? You try. You try the duck salty duck eggs. Is okay. Good. Hey, no, he'll try the duck tongue. Where'd you guys go last time? Mike ordered like spaghetti and meatballs. You guys went to like a French restaurant. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 I'll take it. No, no, we went French to Paymon's and he ordered. It was a Greek restaurant. I ordered spaghetti and meatballs. There you go. He's got it. I don't know. I'll find it. Yeah, he finds everything. He's good. It's like a fucking private detective. He's like a detective. <laughs> these f***ing Dick Tracy! I could eat these all day long. How's everything gonna be out the dicks if you wish? <laughs> I couldn't, you can say Batman? I mean... Stay out of trouble. Bye! <laughs>